Lucifer never existed in the Bible. The reason why we created that archetype was because we had misunderstood and mistranslated the Hebrew text. But it gets even deeper. So the entire world learned about Lucifer through one verse in the Torah, which is Isaiah 14, 12. And that's the famous verse that goes, O Lucifer, how art thou fallen, etc, etc. We translated the word Lucifer into the English as an uppercase noun, a name with a big L. But we mm -hmm. got the English from the Latin. And the Latin is where the word Lucifer is first shown to us because it's a Latin word comprised of two root words, lucis, light, and fere, which means to bring or to hold. But we got the Latin version from the Greek version. And in the Greek, where we would see Lucifer, we would see the word phosphorus, which is equivalent to the Latin Lucifer, which means light or fire mm -hmm. or okay. bright. But we got all of those from the Hebrew, which which is uh, Hillel ben Shahar. And Hillel ben Shahar means Hillel, son of Shahar. And the word Hillel means bright or shiny. And so that's where we got Lucifer, son of the morning, Hillel ben Shahar, because Shahar also means morning. But there's a reason why that is used in the Torah. Isaiah was a royal prophet and a royal scribe, and he was writing during the time of the Babylonian exile, when the Babylonians were descending upon the kingdom of Judah and taking them all into captivity. And so he was writing a prophecy about the downfall of the Babylonians, saying that they are like Hillel ben Shahar. Hillel ben Shahar was actually a Canaanite deity belonging to an old mythology before Judaism. And in that mythology, Hillel was a younger god who tried to rise to the throne, but failed. But it gets even deeper. The word Hillel, the Greek word phosphorus, the, the Latin word Lucifer are all words that could be used to describe or denote Venus. And Venus is the brightest celestial object in the sky preceding the sun. A Hillel was another version of an ancient Canaanite deity known as Athtar. And Athtar was a male rendition of the female Astarte, who was also Ishtar, who was also Inanna. And all of these goddesses were also represented by the star Venus. And so Isaiah was prophetically and poetically saying that the Babylonians are like Venus, they are like Hillel, they think they are something bright and shiny, but they will soon be overshadowed by God or the sun. The sun yeah. So that's what he was really saying. So the early Christians looked at this and were like, oh wow, like he's talking about some person named Lucifer. But we totally just took that and ran with it and, and exaggerated it. And so there never was a Lucifer.